kill corruption in our society. Let be poor breathe. Don't suffocate them. We have that responsibility to carry the body, to face the challenge, to be able to fulfill the dream and the aspiration of millions of our people. And uh, that's a covenant that you have to really pursue. Other than that, why are you in politics? Let the poor breathe. Don't suffocate them. We have that responsibility. I beg whoever can should tell Tinubu that the poor cannot breathe. In fact, everywhere is choking them. And the main thing that is choking them, that they cannot breathe, is the hike, the increase of the pump price of fuel in the name of first subsidy removal that does not or did not exist. So if really Tinubu wants to let the poor to breathe, if really he believes that he, as president now, has the responsibility to let them breathe, then he should reverse the hike in the price of fuel and go after the fraudsters that are responsible for the so-called subsidy that did not exist. Tinubu should ask NMPC to explain who they paid fuel subsidy to. He should, based on the DSDP arrangement, then he would discover, if he does not already know, that there was no subsidy before now. No subsidy. And then when he finds out, if he does not already know, that there was no subsidy, he should now go after those first stars and recover Nigeria's money. That way, he will have money for developmental projects. The first of which should be activation of Ajakuta steel followed by our refinery which is also another fraud if he is able to get the monies back that was spent on the turnaround maintenance that never turned around anything in our refineries in Wari, in Kaduna, in Port Harcourt, if he's able to get those monies back or get the contractors to complete the turnaround maintenance so that at least we can start doing 100% of our 445,000 barrels per day refining capacity. If we can do that, then you will see that there is really no need to increase the pump price of oil and there will still be money pouring in for his administration to do all the developmental projects that it needs to do without choking the poor. Because right now, he is not taking his own advice saying let the poor breed. Because right now, the poor cannot breathe.